Kids are waking up. It is about five past six. Um, I try and keep the lights really low in the morning. I just use like the kitchen range hood thing. I don't know if you can hear though. Little man is singing, uh, and little miss is woken up with a really bad cough. Um, so I'm hoping we don't come down with something. I think today we might just do a quiet home day. I did have plans to go out for our first day of school holidays. I don't know if you can hear her. Can you hear coughing? Um, so I might give her some cough medicine this morning. I might just do it the home day. Got a builder here this morning. Got a builder here all week. Um, he'll be here in the morning. Um, so maybe we'll just do like a, a day at home where we, um, I've got some more seeds to sow for the veggie garden and we can just chill and if they're not feeling well, they can just relax on their iPads or something just to hero. Oh, start of holidays. It sounds like she's getting sick and my nose just feels like hay fever. Um, a bit weird because we went to bed fine last night. Um, but I just put the kettle on to see if they want to have a Milo and I'll go see if they want to get up.
cooking, I unload the dishwasher. I try and have a habit, I'm covered in the syrup, of putting the dishes on to wash after dinner and unloading it before I go to bed. Because in the morning, I don't have this. I can just load it straight into the dishwasher. So I didn't have that. This morning, I was a bit lazier last night. At the beginning of the video, I showed you I prepped the night before. But anyway, so I'm gonna um, clean up the kitchen very, very quickly. When I make the pancakes, sometimes they're not, like I miss the flip and they're a bit, you know, unique in their shape. Oh, that one's a bit burned. Um, so I usually put them on a side plate and I will just give them to myself or if the kids want to have them for like morning tea. But that is the rest of the batter. So we'll probably have that tomorrow or the following day for breakfast. It's got eggs and milk in it. If you just keep it in the fridge, it'll be fine for a couple of days. So they're the cinchy pouches and I also use the cinchy pouches. These ones here, uh, I think they're 750 one liter they're the one liter pouches but it's got like a really good nozzle on it for pouring and then you've seen i'm sure i've showed it before i've just opened this apple juice i bought it the other week but i've just opened it um the kids had some yesterday afternoon i separate the apple juice because once you open it you're supposed to consume it in so many days i will portion this up into more of those little pouches and then freeze them and then when they defrost all i need to do is pull them out the spout it's a really handy thing actually The flashlight, the blanket, and the man. It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember? Oh my god, I'm using the wrong tripod. Get the proper tripod, Joe. Um, there's two things I want to do. One is I read that getting a container, a glass jar, and putting water and then banana skins in it and kind of letting it ferment for a few days, then pouring it into your veggie garden is like a really good fertilizer. So I've got this glass jar here. I just can't find the lid for it. Um, the kids are not at home. Well, Miss, little Miss is fine. She's just got like a, a cough that's just not going to go away. So the plans we did have today, we've postponed till next week. We're going to have the home day. So I thought if we're going to pop out to the shops, they want to get some balls for the backyard. Um, when we moved, our house that we were renting got flooded and the backyard washed all of their toys away, all of their balls, shovels, all that sort of stuff. So we might get to Kmart and just get like some backyard balls to kick around and I might grab another one of these. Um, but what I'm also going to do is start my sourdough starter. Um, I made lots of sourdough last year and I really liked it but when we moved my sourdough starter actually got thrown out which is fine I can just create another one it takes about a week to do and because I'm doing some daily vlogs I'll see if I can remember to share the updates with it every day so all I'm going to do is do equal parts water equal parts flour leave it in a warm spot in the house and every day leave it on the bench don't put it in the fridge you need to ferment it so every day I'm going to scoop half of it out and then replace it again with the same stuff. So this is going to have half flour, half water, whether it's a cup, half a cup, whatever you want. Um, I'm probably gonna do a half a cup of flour, half a cup of water, and then that'll rise, ferment, heat up. And in the morning, I'm going to cut in half and then add fresh flour to feed it, to do it again. And then over a week, I'm gonna have a really good fermented sourdough starter. And then in the coming videos, we're gonna make more sourdough. I've made them before. I think I have a, um, a section in my YouTube videos where you can watch sourdoughs and I've got the sourdough starter and I've made many different types of flavorings before but let me grab my flour now you guys would know I'm not like a precisionist when it comes to measuring things you've just seen me make some pancakes and I think I just emptied the flour in um, so I've got a third of a cup there <laughs> um, maybe we'll do like a little bit more should do and then we want warm water inside and we're going to give that a little stir 
It needs to be in a glass. I've got too much water in there. <laughs> I'm going to have to add more. Uh, it needs to be in a glass bowl, not a steel bowl, because apparently the metals will leach into it and it can actually affect the starter. So everything I've read and done has always been to use glass. So I'm just going to use glass. And you want it to sort of be the consistency of, I don't know, like a thick pancake batter, a cake batter almost. I think I've got the consistency right here. I put in far too much water. So listen, put your flour in and then add a little bit of water each time. Just make sure all the flour is completely mixed through because it wasn't in that little corner there. And mixed. And it is going to smell. It's going to smell sour-like because that's how you make your sourdough bread. So that should be like fluffy kind of looking. I'm gonna show you the consistency of it. And then to make sourdough, all you need is the sourdough starter, flour and water. It's actually a very cheap way to make bread. So this is a nice sort of consistency. I'm going to put my lid on it. This container here is from Ikea. I think it's a one liter. No idea. One litre, but you can get universal heads. So you can get like a click down plastic one. I like the glass one. This is what I also use for my carrots with water in the fridge. I'm going to stick that into a warm place in the house and every day we're just going to feed it and watch it grow. All right, we're going to head out and grab a couple of things from the shops, as in like replaceable, so it got lost. Um, but dinner tonight, I'm gonna keep it real simple, just in case little miss and I are coming down with something. I gave her cough medicine and she's come real good. I've just got this real <coughs> bit of a cough and can't stop sneezing and blowing my nose. And three, four weeks ago, that's when I got sick. So I'm hoping it's not coming back, but easy dinner tonight. In my grocery haul on Friday, I mentioned I want to grab a loaf of a fresh bread. I didn't do that. And we've actually ended up eating through the loaf of bread. I actually found a really cool hack. So thank you. These containers I bought from Kmart that I put all of our veggies in fit a loaf of bread perfectly so no squashing bread in the fridge anymore so we're halfway through the loaf that i bought in the friday's grocery haul the other one oh have we eaten it oh my goodness oh i think we've eaten oh my gosh i've eaten a loaf and a half that's how much bread the kids and i are going through and husband that's all i have left out of two loaves i've got just over half a loaf so um we're going to do sausage and bread for dinner. I'm going to use the fresh bread. I might even buy another loaf of bread. You can see all the painting I've been doing. Just a real simple dinner in case I'm not feeling well. All I have to do is grate cheese, cook sausages. My kids don't really eat onion unless it's in like a stew. Uh, so very simple dinner. So I'll take those out to defrost. We're going to go to the shops. <laughs> I need to get that hung on a wall. Um, and grab a couple of balls that got lost or thrown over the fence and never got returned. And the kids can just have a bit of a play day, quiet day. We're going to have, excuse me, we're going to... Um, what am I saying? Morning tea at home and lunch at home. So I'm purely, I'm putting my shoes on now. Purely going out to grab these backyard balls that, you want to put them on? Okay. Oh, have you got purple lipstick today? Obsessed with makeup. Um, so yeah, just like bouncy balls for the backyard. All right, we're back from the shops. I'm making the kids something to eat. It's actually been a little while now. Um, they were desperate to go on their trampoline and play with the balls that I got. Kmart did not have a pig selection, which was great. Um, I'm feeling a little under the weather, which really sucks. So I'm gonna give the kids some early lunch-ish and I'll mix with a cup of tea and just take it easy. Very easy dinner tonight. Thank goodness I thought ahead on that one. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I might have a couple of sandwich. I'm just gonna rest for a little bit and just um, see how I feel. I'm fading. It's definitely not hay fever. It is caught up there. Sorry, my camera's all twisted. Um, it's definitely not hay fever. I've definitely come down with something. I've got a bit of a sore throat. So while we were at the shops, I got the fresh bread. Um, and I also grabbed like some throat lozenges. So I'll have some of those. I might even take some panel and urefin just to keep on top of it. Um, and I'll see how I go. 
This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and... Alright, I've got dinner started. Hang on, I need a breadboard. Two grits of cheese. I've definitely come down with something. I've got a <coughs> bit of a cough and I've definitely got the sniffles. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it just passes quickly, to be honest. Um, my kids are crashing, so we're going to do an early dinner and bath. Thank goodness. I decided to do a really simple dinner tonight. It's literally, I'm cooking the sausages, guys. I'm grating some cheese. I'm gonna butter some of this fresh bread. And my kids are gonna go to bed with a full belly. So I think I've pretty much done like a, a full vlog. I've actually got a better tripod. Let's bring you up. Do you really wanna watch me grate cheese? Or can we do like a real quick little chat before I end the vlog? You can even see. I mean, blow my nose all day. My hands are clean. Um, I've definitely come down with something. So hopefully tomorrow's vlog, I will definitely feel a bit better. Uh, my kids are exhausted. School holidays, usually the first couple of days, little man just zones out. Right, we're going to the movies. Um, so I'm going to finish the vlog here for today because all we're going to do is eat dinner, have a bath, quiet, cruisy night, read a couple of books. We usually do like a board game. I don't think I'm going to do that. We're just going to have a very chill Read a couple of books together, maybe do some drawings, and then we're literally gonna, well, I'm gonna literally put the kids to bed um, and chill and edit this video for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned because I'm doing a vlog for the next couple of days and you can just see different routines and what we get up to and what we do and just keep things a little bit more um, <laughs> honest on the <laughs> social media front because it's so easy to get inspired and jealous and confused of what something of what things we can sometimes see. So I'm hoping my red nose puffiness, messy home just shows you that that is totally normal and fine, makeup free and all. Um, so I'm gonna grate this cheese, feed my children and probably do a bit early myself because I'm not feeling it. Um, so stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. Talk later, bye. I thought you knew I could die to keep you near. We've got a fire. It's 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left getting